There we go. Got him. Got him. Got him. Um, what the? What the? Whoa! So this will be the most fun and effective way I've found of catching trout. My name is Nick and I'm going to show you exactly how you could do it. And you're only going to need three things. One is power bait eggs. This is different from the little Play-Doh stuff you're going to find. A lot of people like to use this, but I prefer the power bait eggs. Number two is split shots. Just get a assorted pack and you should be covered. And the last thing you need is a size eight bait holder hook. All you want to do is tie the bait holder hook to your line and then put a split shot about a foot above the hook. Split shot weight always depends on how quick the river's moving or how deep the spot is. And then you're going to want to slide two power bait eggs up the shank of the hook. Then you're going to want to cast your bait directly in front of you, not upstream or downstream, just right in front of you. Now if the current's moving a lot, you can actually cast upstream a little bit and this will help you stay near the bottom, which is the whole goal of this kind of fishing. So you want to keep your rod tip high and keep your line tight. And throughout the entire drift, you should really be feeling the bottom the entire time. And once you feel the tap, tap, tap bite of a trout, let him eat it for a second and then do a big hook set on him. I like to go pretty heavy on the hook set just because it's fun. I'm sure you could get away with, you know, a lighter hook set, but that, that, that kind of ruins the fun. And you should have yourself some nice trout. You yeah, you got one. Wait, so we got one at the same time? Yeah, get it up to the shore. No. Oh, about to. No. <laughs> no. No! <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, let me, I'll take him off the hook. Let, let some line out. He bit at the end, right? Yeah. So everybody's caught a fish now. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> There we go, got him, got him, got him. Oh, it's big. No, it's not really big, but it's, it's a decent one. So this spot right here is actually pretty deep and it's moving pretty fast. So all I do is cast a little bit upstream just to help my bait get down to the bottom and stay there. Once we get close to the end of the drift, you'll see that I lower my rod tip. And I do this because that'll help get the bait closer to the bottom, which is the whole point of this technique. Oh, I'm getting bit. Wait, is he on? What the? <laughs> dude, he's wrapped in your line. <laughs> My line's up. Wait, then whose line was that? He's, dude, that was, that was the weirdest oh, shit ever. Whatever happened right here really still has me confused. The hook set was extremely bad. You can see that the rod didn't fully load up properly, even when I reeled down to the fish. So what you're supposed to do is, like, you reel down all the slack, and you start, you feel the weight on the, uh, on the rod from the fish. And that's when you really lean into it and set the hook on them. But that's not what happened. You could see, you could hear me say that I was wrapped in someone else's line, but you can't really see it on the video. What I think happened was it was actually my own line. And there's a chance that my line got caught on a rock and then a fish oh. bit when it got caught on the rock. And when the fish bit, it came off the rock, which threw some slack in the line. And that's why he got like wrapped in the line. I don't really know. That was the worst hook set of all time. Probably. Split shot is, oh no, it's not. Why do they do this every time? Not a bad one. Hooked right in the corner of the mouth. No, you have to catch one first. This is a little circle hook. Whoa! 
This is a this is a big one. Oh, he got it way down the gullet, dude. So this was the nicest trout of the day, and yes, we did keep him. I've been actually keeping more trout recently just because, well, not only because I'm catching more trout, but it's actually not as bad as I thought. You just got to kind of cook it right. But yeah, that was it. This was my most effective and most fun way of catching trout, and I hope that it helps you next time you go out. One quick thing, I just created a free online fishing club called Fish School, and it's hosted on this website called school.com, S-K-O-L.com. It's a place where you can basically host your own online community. I plan on using this to do some cool fishing stuff. I want to do tournaments, challenges. Uh, we could also do live calls and some other stuff, but this is, this is going to be really cool. I think the tournament's going to be most fun if I could figure out how the heck it's going to work. Yeah, but go check it out if it's interesting to you. It'll be in the description down below. And that's all I got for you. Now get out there and catch some freaking fish. See ya.